All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Still not at 100%, so there might be some sniffling throughout this video, so I apologize. But, like I said, we're getting back on track this week with reviews and vlogs, and I got a vapey thing I wanted to talk about today. This comes from Asmodus. This is called the Lustro Mod. It's got a few little maybe gimmicky things to it, but all around it's a it's a very durable, powerful mod. I, I kind of just wish it wasn't so gimmicky. Oh. But in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close as we often do. That's right, quick, short, up and closey time, go. All right, yeehaw, here we go. This is the Asmodus Lustro mod, dual 18650, 200 watts. It's got LEDs and it's actually got a little IR infrared sensor right here, which we'll talk about in a second. I'm gonna pop this atomizer off so we don't burn it up with all the button pressing we're about to do. Overall, yeah, nice construction, nice fit and finish. Feels fairly good in the hand. Doesn't feel too big, doesn't feel too small. You can hold it a number of ways. Honestly, with this mod and the way that it's shaped, I kind of just grab it and press the button however I'm holding it. This is a mod that I just I just grip in my hand like this and hit the button with my finger. Oh man, I can't show you the lights without an atomizer attached. So it has these LED lights on here. And overall, I'm not a huge fan of mods with big bright LEDs all over the place. It's honestly just one of those things I find a little bit unnecessary. But on the Lustro, it's actually kind of cool. When you press the button, the fire button will light up whatever color you want it. You can switch the colors, green, blue, or red. I have it on blue right now. And when you press the fire button, this little speedometer thing kind of goes up right here. And it honestly serves zero purpose other than to look cool. Ooh. Here, let me turn down the light so you can see it better. Ooh. And like I said, you can get into the menu system and change the color from blue or green or red. And whatever color you choose, it will match the button and it will match the little volume speedometer thing here. And you can also change the speed at which this moves. So now I swapped it to red. The button should be red. And now this should go real fast. Whoop, whoop. And like I said earlier, it serves literally no purpose. It just kind of looks cool when you fire it to other people looking at your mod. Nine times out of ten, when I'm holding this mod and using it, it's not something that I even see out of my peripheral vision. I would honestly have loved if this was useful. Like, maybe this is your battery indicator, and when your batteries are fully charged, it goes all the way to the top. And when they're dwindling down and the life is draining from your batteries, it only goes up this high, and then only this high. And then when your batteries are dead, it kind of just goes up a little bit. I think that would have added a lot of function to an otherwise useless but cool looking LED thing. Now that IR sensor, that ain't that a thing. Now here's what Asmodus has to say about the IR sensor in this. One of the standout elements of the Lustro is the inclusion of an IR sensor that allows for futuristic, hands-free method of control. It does not require the user to touch the screen in order to interact with their device. Turning your everyday day vape session into something you would see in a sci-fi sci movie. movie. By simply waving your hand in front of the device, you may navigate through the menu or switch firing modes. An affair, An affair that you, that must, you must experience, experience yourself, yourself to, believe. to believe. Now, I don't know if that's really the case. I don't really feel like I'm in some sort of futuristic sci-fi movie, but it does basically work as advertised. You can wave your hand in front of it after you unlock it and switch between the modes. You can also navigate the menu system the same way. If you do five clicks, one, two, three, four, Four, five gets you whoops that was the menu system one two three four five there's the menu you wave did you see it move wave nope wave okay wave nope wave this way wave it doesn't work all the time. To adjust anything, different modes or wattages, you have to unlock the screen by swiping down. This is something that a lot of other Osmodus mods have done, and it works pretty well in this. There's a little indicator on the bottom to show you that you've unlocked it, and if I now wave... Uh, unlock, wave, wave. Did you see the mode change? Wave, 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 wave. Okay, it 
kind of works. It kind of works, but it's also kind of dumb because you can also just swipe across the top to change your modes. And swiping across the touch screen works just much better. Let's put this back into wa power wattage mode, but you can go through all of them. There's temperature control. Whoops, it went the wrong way. There's temperature control. There's a curve mode. There is power mode. There is custom TFRs and TCRs, and it sometimes goes the wrong way. Okay, let's just, no, stop. Back to power mode. Power mode. Done. Lock it in. And then, of course, to adjust your wattage, you need to unlock the screen, tap the wattage, and then you can adjust it up and down using the touch screen. The menu interface, eh, it's kind of dumb. It's kind of wonky. I'm not a huge fan of that IR sensor. You have the ability to turn it off, so I just generally turn it off. Otherwise, the screen is fine. It shows you everything you need to know. It shows you your resistance, your voltage, your wattage, whether it's locked or unlocked. It shows you your battery level indicators. It definitely serves its purpose. And like I said, the overall fit and finish construction of it feels nice. It feels very solid. The battery door just kind of pops off like that. You got two batteries on the inside with a ribbon for ejecting them. The battery sled is pretty clearly marked positive and negative. In fact, it even tells you that this is the spring loaded side press up against this and that down here is the spring loaded side. You need to press your battery down against that. Real simple overall to put your batteries in and the back door doesn't like really snap on or clamp on with authority, but once you put it on, it's kind of a soft little, you just kind of press it on. But once it's on, it stays on. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't rattle. It doesn't wiggle. There's no play up, down, side to side on this door. Just feels real solid all around. It's kind of a boring, you know, square shaped, but it's like I said, it's, it's ergonomic. It kind of fits in my hand really well. It's one of those few mods that I can just grab and grip and then press the button. Oh, let me show you the little boot up sequence because it's so cool. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna ask you if you have married batteries. And if you do, you're gonna hit yes. And then it gives you the little spinning as modus thing. And then there's your main screen. USB on the bottom is for firmware updates only. It's always a good idea to charge your 18650s outside of the mod. But yeah, there it is. The Lustro up close and personal. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. Good, good, it's vaping great. This mod gives me plenty, plenty of power. This is a 0.23 ohm single coil at 70 watts and it does not let me down in the power department. All I get is just instantaneous firing, lots of warm vapor, lots of clouds bro clouds. So like I said earlier, it is a little bit of a boring shape. It's kind of just a cube, but it's comfortable to hold. Like I said, this is one of the few mods I can just grab and just grip it and hit the fire button with my finger every time. I grip it like this and you just grip it and fire it. You know, I have normal male guy sized hands and this mod kind of fits really well. It's a little, it's even a little bit, I would say it's a little bit compact. Like I can hide it completely in my fist. It's not huge. It's not over the top. So pros and cons. What do I really like about this mod? I like the shape of it. I like that it's a boring cube because I like the way it fits in my hand. It feels substantial. It feels real nice. Asmodus usually puts together real nice mods. They all fit together real well. Feels pretty rough, pretty durable. I don't think this door would survive a drop test, but we're going to find out. Well, the battery stayed in, but the door did not stay on. I like the button, I like that it's real clicky, and I like the placement of it, and I also like that it lights up, and I also like that these these lights match each other. I also genuinely like the touch screen on this. It's easy to use, you can unlock it, you can adjust your wattage up and down. It's a little bit wacky when you're kind of switching back and forth between custom, you know, between like temperature control and power and curve and custom TCRs. Thankfully, I don't do that really ever. I put mine on power mode and I leave it there. And even just leaving it in power mode, it's easy enough to just unlock the screen, adjust what you need to adjust, press the fire button to lock it all in, and you're good to go. As far as the IR sensor goes, look, I, I get it that Asmodus was trying something new, something a little bit different, but ultimately, uh, it's mostly useless. It it's just a real gimmicky thing. I got it, and I tried it out, and I was like, wow, it sometimes changes when I wave my hand in front of it. It's just not reliable enough and it doesn't work every time. If the IR sensor was the only way to adjust this mod, if you had to use the IR sensor, 
No, that that would be that would be a deal breaker for me. Thankfully, you don't have to use the IR sensor. You can turn it off, and you can use the touch screen, which is a much better, much more reliable uh, reliable system, in my opinion. Still, still vapes great though, plenty of power. So let's wrap this up. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this Asmodus Lustro mod? Well, clicking over to their website, retail price is about $80. So yeah, I mean, you kinda need your vape budget hands for this. So if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have no vape gear left. Is the Asmodus Lustro something that I would seek out and buy? Uh, Probably not. It's a little bit gimmicky, and there are lots of other dual battery 200 watt box mods out there. This isn't enough to make me the IR sensor and the LED on this. Probably wouldn't be enough to really make me yearn for this mod. But with that said, I I'm so conflicted because it's such a nice performer, and it's got such a nice clicky button. <sighs> I'm so conflicted. I like it. It's gimmicky. It's a boring shape, but I like it but it's gimmicky and it's got LEDs. And honestly, the LEDs have turned me into the person that when I vape this, I wanna look down at it. Almost every single time I vape this, I go, oh, I can look at the LED now. And I just end up looking at my mod, which is something that I have never done before. And I completely blame Asmodus for that. Honestly, like I said in the up and close, if this little LED bar was functional, like it showed you something like the wattage you were at or the, the battery life you were getting or or maybe if it changed colors based on wattage, if it was green when you were in a good spot and it was red if you were running it higher and it was blue if you were running it a little bit lower, I think that would be very cool too. It looks cool, it's just completely superfluous. Anyway, enough rambling from me. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll throw some links down in the description to where you can check this out if you are interested, but it is what it is. It's the Lustro and if you want to, you can wave your hand in front of it and feel like you're in a futuristic sci-fi sci vaping, vaping universe. universe. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.